Hello, welcome back for our next episode of Dragon Age. I'm really excited for this one. We're running from death mages and I think corpses and it's going to be really fun and hopefully we're not going to become running corpses ourselves. Um, I am not holding my breath. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're a corpse, you probably won't have to because they don't really breathe. So Touché. Can we play dead with <laughs> corpses? Is that the strategy? I don't know that that'll work because you still yeah, smell maybe. alive, I guess. At any well, rate. I, I just meant that they're going to be way better at playing dead. That, um, that's true. But at any rate, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, before we jump into everything, I'm going to say a few words about our sponsors here real quick, uh, which are in chat. They are Fundamental RPG. It's a simple D20 system that is not tied to a genre. So you can use it to play any style of game that you would like from high fantasy to sci-fi and everything in between. You can pick up the physical copies on Amazon or the digital version on coffee at uh, coffee.com slash Raven, like it's spelled at the bottom of the screen. And as Paladin always says, yes, the fun is free with every purchase. Um, also go check out Die Hard Dice. They sell amazing polymer dice and metal polymer and metal dice sets and accessories. Um, and uh, they're just really awesome over there too. Uh, but their stuff's at dieharddice.com. If you use the code Animus with a capital A, you can get 10% off of your entire order. I highly recommend checking out this luminous chrome set. Uh, I will try to get the camera to pick up just how amazing these are. Uh, they've got these little sparkles in them. They're like little nebulas that are all glittery and stuff. And they've been rolling really well for me so far this month. So uh, I can't guarantee that your set will roll super well, but because uh, probabilities, but they're very pretty and I highly recommend them. Uh, there's a link straight to them in chat. Uh, and then if you want to catch up on this show or any others on the channel, you can do so at the Fantasy Network at watch.thefantasy.network. And with that out of the way, I'm going to hand it on over to Hannah to uh, introduce us and take it away. What? <laughs> oh, right. I usually do the introductions on this. Uh, it's Paladin first. Tell yeah. us who you are in about <laughs> Jade. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Paladin Hall, Twitch moderator for Random Tuesday, a little red dot and polar scripted. And today, as always, I am playing Jade, your humble servant and the very best butler in the world. And nothing else. And nothing else. No, no, he is also bestest friend. Uh, that would be moving us on to Raven. Tell us about Hi. yourself, Drafferth. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but I was saying, I, I, uh, I just produced the Tuesday Dragon Age game where I have Matt do the intros because I'm not actually doing anything in the game. Uh, and so I got stuck on that mode. But hi, I'm Raven. I play Draft Earth or Draft. Uh, she is a punk rock mage who uh, basically has no respect for any sort of authority for the most part. <clears throat> she's really fun to play. Uh, she's a Ferelden um, and has that sort of Ferelden commoner. I hate the nobles attitude. And it's it's very fun. Um, which in contrast is kind of funny because she is a healer. Uh, she has very little offensive magic uh, or abilities, but she can heal really, really well. Uh, and then I am the creative director for the Raven Evermore, which is my brand for all the various things that I do, uh, which are mostly tabletop related. Uh, my link tree is in chat. It's linktr.ee slash the Raven. Um, and yeah, that's me and my character. Let us move on then to Anina. Tell us about yourself and Velika. Hi, everyone. I'm Anina Kaski. I'm a actor and writer and um, tabletop player. Uh, I play Velika, a city elf who has amnesia. She doesn't remember much, but she is a mage. And she's hoping these lovely people will keep her safe. No promises. <laughs> it is plain. Yeah, she's keeping an eye on eye, eye on Jade. <laughs> but her and Alan get along swimmingly. Um, yeah, apart from on here, I also uh, am part of Bardic Quest, a new D&D YouTube actual play. We have two episodes out, so check that out at Bardic Quest. And I also have a YouTube channel, The Awkward Actress. So check those out. I'll put the links in the in the bio, you can have a look. Uh, and then last but definitely not least, this troll, tell us about yourself and Alan. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a troll and prettiest princess. I also go by my uh, John Belliston, which is you know what legally I'm called. Uh, I, I write, I work, uh, I'm currently working with the uh, Neon Devils um, comic that we just released our first, uh, we released our first little like teaser trailer thing. I think that the first actual comic goes up next week, but yeah, so it's a whole thing. Um, and I write, I, I do some game stuff. I'm working on a system. Uh, I am playing Helen, who uh, is, was very bad at being spy. And so he decided he's better make, make a tiny cake. He wants to make a tiny cake and put it inside less tiny cake. It's basically his, his goals in life. Uh, he also was rather brutally conditioned into this sort of death rage thing that happens where he just his brain just sort of turns off and he makes things dead very effectively yeah that's the duality of alan duality yes the duality. anyway <laughs> my name is hannah um full-time anxiety being part-time human i'm going to be your dragon master for today um and so without further ado let's get a roll in last time our heroes resurrected flemeth so that was fun and our we're making their way back to the alluvium that was supposed to be their escape point when they got back to it it was dead there was no way through. And so that's where we left off with some death mages coming down into the catacombs looking for them and no way back. Right. Vela could try to open the, the uh, mirror thing, yes? Yes. And failed. Okay. It didn't respond. So um, you know that there are presumably death mages coming down because that one skeleton started absolutely shrieking while you were fighting it. What do you guys, what kind of direction do you guys think you want to go in from here? Uh, general panic, is that a direction we can go? <laughs> oh, absolutely. And <laughs> we hear matter. <laughs> and we hear things. End of last session. There is the sounds, the somewhat far off at the moment sounds of people shouting and corpses yelling and running around but they have not I'm gonna found look, yet i'm going to look to see if there's a practical uh, problem with the portal like maybe someone st stuck an iron bar somewhere where it shouldn't be or something okay uh, do you want to i guess investigate that then yes desperately That's perception yeah. probably or is that cunning Seems like perception to me. I did already click the button. Well, then that's the button that it is. Perfect. There um, we go. Now I got you're a no, 12. You're no magical expert. Um, yeah, I'm not looking is... for magical problems. I'm just looking for something to look off. Like maybe someone changed something and that's why it's not working. The only thing that looks physically different about it is the fact that it's no longer lightly glowing. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't suppose either of you could, uh, no? Hmm? Did I, did I break it? I Meryl had so. said, Meryl had said that she was going to hold it open on the other side for you. So. Did she leave us? Something must have happened to her. Maybe <clears throat> that Solus fellow found her. Yeah, the wolf arse hell, right? Well, that's a problem for later. Let's get out of here. But, but how? <clears throat> With our feet. What direction? Exactly. Any. <laughs> Are I... there any like obvious uh, hallways or exits out of this room that we're in? Well, you are kind of in a disused because, um, if you as, as you recall, the uh, the other room was kind of in this little disused corner of one. Um, but if you go back out to the kind of main hallway that you had traversed down before. The direction you came from, I 
seems to be where a lot of the noise is also coming from, presumably because they're trying to follow you. Um, and in the other direction, it's just gets dark and very dark. Gets yeah, into the darkness where they won't see us. That seems wise to me. Of course, I'm not in charge. So whatever you would love to do is fine. I start edging towards the darkness. Okay. Thank you. You are muted, Mr. Allen. As poking <laughs> the uh, mirror. <laughs> it's oh, funny because I've just been saying the word time. poke for like the last 10 minutes. <laughs> I thought I saw you. <laughs> Boo! Uh, yeah. <laughs> So you're poking the mirror with your fork? I've been no, I have been poking the mirror with my fork for that entire conversation. <laughs> poke, 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 poke. Uh it has poke. not as of yet responded to you. I think he's broken. Um, maybe we do try the shadows. Yeah, I don't know. It was a good idea. Let's let's do that. I suppose so. So as you head away from the voices and in further into the dark, uh, Jay, do you still have your magic light torch? I, I believe you also gave do. one to Alan. Can't it? Is that a thing that turns off or? Well, you're not a mage. No, I guess so I just like know. stick it in my backpack so it doesn't <laughs> like it's obscured. It's fire. Is it fire? What's well, magic fire? Yeah, oh. didn't we have a tool? <laughs> does does, ma kind of told. does well, magic fire kind of burn non-magic things is the question. <laughs> I'll just sort of like tuck it. I try to put like, it out. My horn in my ear. I just kind of got a like, so it's like a little flower, but a torch. <laughs> we are a mess. <laughs> tuck it behind oh, your horn. <laughs> it's like, well, between the ear and the horn. So it's got it's the best, really you know, cute. holding there just like, you're absolutely gonna die. Yeah. You're making an adorable target. Hmm. Well, that's good. He goes, my job. Then the distance between that and his blood rage will be all the more. Oh, yeah. goodness. All the people shooting us again. like, hey, look at that guy I'm shooting. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> um, Presumably Giraffe or Anita could attempt to smother the light. Don't, you don't know if you'd be able to get it back going again because you're not sure. Like, I don't know if either of you would... You could check if you know how to do that kind of thing. Uh, I'm, I'm, for now, I'm just going to try to, like, put it out on the ground and, like, cover it with some cloth and see if that works. It does not seem to react to that. I take it out of Jade's hand and I just throw it as far as I can. <laughs> that was... Oh, well. Like further down the dark hall or back towards the way no, you came? No, back towards the <laughs> mirror. Excellent. Beautiful. I guess that's, oh. that's probably wise, ma'am. Um, <clears throat> can I try to, like, sneak into the shadows or just be like, I don't know what you're all doing, but I'm gonna just hide as we walk through? Oh, absolutely you can. If you want, <laughs> feel free to do a sneak roll. Alright, that's a 12. <laughs> so Draft has disappeared. <laughs> Oh, Anyone oh. who like. <laughs> uh, huh. What's that rule for? I assumed it was going to have to be stealth? sneaky. Okay. I assumed it was going to be Alan, sneaky. So. Alan has not disappeared into the shadows. Presumably because he has a torch. <laughs> right, no, he's, he's, into he's, his... got the, he's doing this thing where he's got that. He's got the, the sword is just up, the shield's there, and he's like. Doo, 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 but somehow walking louder with each step. <laughs> As he's going forward. Um, so he's keeping the thing on his on his head, the torch. Well, obviously. I mean, okay. It's... I will steal the torch. Otherwise, from I you could not see. If I can't see, this back. is a problem. I it, I strangely feel like <laughs> Alan I see, I was thinking, trying strange. to be sneaky is more intimidating than Alan trying to be intimidating. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> that's true. Ellie is just gonna follow Alan because Alan's. Big and scary. So, uh, I had like so five behind him. Pickpocketing. Right, Fifteen to pickpocket the torch away from Alan. So the, the, the light suddenly, the light let, light suddenly disappears, and you're not even entirely sure how, like where it went. Though you do see then Jade have it in his hand to chuck it back down the hallway. When did it get in his hand? 
Yeah. Must have fallen out. My deepest apologies, sir. I will use, I will use I was afraid, next time. I was afraid the light would attract the enemy. So, how quickly uh, do we feel like moving down this dark hallway? Are we going... I'll match everyone else's speed. Alan is attempting to sneak, so I'm presuming he's yeah. going a little slowly, more slowly than normal. I, I don't know. I think we should I roll also really stealth. Bad. Like, I, I might be moving at full speed, just <laughs> fucking like a jackass. <laughs> yeah, uh, Draft nice. is moving as quickly as she can while, you know, stealth. being being stealthed, yeah. Uh, Anina, are you going to attempt to I'm, stealth? I'm running after Alan. I'm <laughs> just running. Um, excellent. So you're running in the dark. You're not really sure where you're going. Every once in a while, you kind of hear the earth shift around you, and the sounds are still there, but like kind of dispersed. Um, it does seem like you're kind of getting away. Draft, you feel something in your gut suddenly. Like stabbing me in the gut, or no, I ate something like... bad, or. <laughs> Is it um, a chest burster? Because we're in the wrong game for that. Yeah. So <laughs> it make it all the more impressive. Your your characters have similar accents, though. Probably. That's true. Yeah. Um. More like so. You've had nightmares, right? Yes. It's like that, but smaller, lesser. Oh, okay. <laughs> Out of character. I know what we're talking about now. Um, so I'm having a but I don't. Attack. I don't know if. <clears throat> Basically, what? in a hallway. Well, it's more like you've you've sensed there is something nearby. It doesn't. It's very muted, though. Okay. Um. I, I think Draft is just gonna quietly whisper, you know, from her practical invisibility in these shadows, apparently. So everybody's just gonna hear Draft whispering. I've got a bad feeling about this. I have bad feeling about many things. Oh. You have to um, be far more specific about. <laughs> I forgot that Alan calls draft boat. Yeah. Of course, of course I call her I boat. She's a boat. I don't know. It's just bad. Oh, well, uh. What are we meant to do then? Um, perhaps we should hide for a moment. See if anything should happen. Come yeah. for us. Any noises? So the, the tunnels around you kind of start to shift and shake around you again, and draft the feeling is getting closer, and you realize suddenly that it is appearing just to the right of you, kind of walking presumably towards you. Um, just because it means I get to say this line, uh, I, I cast Magic Missile at the Darkness. <laughs> Arcane Lance, <laughs> distinct magic missile. <laughs> right, Arcane Lance, sorry, not magic you. missile. I cast Arcane Lance at the darkness. Um, Perfect, go ahead and do that. So that's just like a straight throw. Yeah, so it's a 13. Jesus. Okay, uh, what kind of damage does that do? Do, uh, do your damage. 1d6 plus 3, so 9 damage. <laughs> <laughs> not, not terrible. <laughs> um, Something to the right of all of you, presumably in a newly opened passage due to the shifting of the un lower sections of the Grand Necropolis, lets out a grunt, like, ah! and it goes, wait, no fight, no fight, <gasps> wait. Uh, Hello? <laughs> I, I think Jeff's just gonna be like, um, what are you? Alan? You, <laughs> you just oh, say Alan? You, Alan, the <laughs> thing I just shot. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, thing she just shot. Is, is okay. Uh, you are Grave War Den. Yeah. I, I can. <laughs> Boats can be Grey Wardens. Boats can be Grey Wardens. Yeah, it's a special class of boat. Whoa. 
Oh, many boat in world. And Draft's just still doing that squint thing. She's got like her her oar uh, staff out, pointed at the thing. Uh, Would anyone and, like to attempt to make a light? <laughs> and yeah, she's just like, no. I'm 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 gonna circle Ooh. around this thing though, so I'm behind it. Uh, yeah, and Draft's just gonna say, "You seem like a dark spawn, but you talking. So, what the hell are you?" Yes, dark spawn talk messenger. Uh, hide, come hide. And corpse mages, uh, come hide, come hide. Draft just has the like Windows has stopped working error <laughs> sort of expression <laughs> on her face. I think this good guy. We fo I follow this guy. <laughs> um, Veleka costs. Um, you can hands. just make a little. Yeah, you can just do oh that little God. fire in your hand. So I cast it, but I'm like, okay, but. Draft immediately goes like, ah, right. oh, warning next time. <laughs> oh, so we are going to make up. light. <laughs> so I've just got burning hands, but I haven't touched anything. But I'm just like, okay, we'll hide, but. Don't try anything. So Can we you... see what this thing is now? Oh, absolutely. So you light up the corridor, and it does seem that another a, a separate passage is kind of opened up to the right. It looks like it goes into an area that doesn't look like the rest of. It looks just like tunnels. Um, and down in that area is a in dark spawn, <laughs> and he's like looking at you <laughs> and like gesturing, like ah. And then it like kind of shies. It's oh, bright to bright. Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like not like not do anything to to stop it, but I'm gonna kind of lift the shield up a little bit just so that it's not like shining directly into the thing's face. Many thanks. Uh. Um, I'm gonna try to make eye contact with with uh, with Draft to see if this is a moment where we should just kill this thing. <laughs> Draft's really struggling to figure that out herself, um, but she's like. Right, these things aren't usually supposed to talk, so um, let's different, different. go follow it, and then if, <clears throat> if it tries something, then yeah, we kill it. Be, 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 better than uh, no, dead, no fight. dead walk people. <laughs> yeah, Draft will follow it then. Uh, <clears throat> so it, it starts leading you down into one of the hallways, or down into this tunnel that it's in. Yeah, uh, um, Ellen is going to uh, turn back and give... Uh, why can't I not pronounce I can I'm looking at your name, I can't pronounce it. Vel Velica. 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 Yeah. Words. They're complicated. He's gonna look back at Velica with like a it's okay. It'll be okay. She she follows Alan. So Velica, were you trying to like do literal burning hands or were you trying to just make a light? Because you do I just have made that... a lie and a bit of like intimidation. It wasn't a. Attack. Oh, it wasn't in. Okay, so like if you were just making light, it could be part of your um, because as as part of your primal talent, you can just create okay. fire in your hand. Yeah. Um. So if it's like that, and you weren't trying to like literally burn him with your burning hands, you don't oh. have to take that mana. Okay. Um. Thank it can just be that fire creation that you can yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. So. You follow this dark spawn, yeah, down into as, the into the tunnels. <laughs> as we do, I'm like, do you perhaps have a name? It's a dark spawn. Is it a dude? Is it is it a girl? Can we tell? Like, what sort of pitch does their voice have? I know in it's, canon they're kind of all male. They do. Really? The women Except turn into mothers. A completely different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Turn into a dude. mothers. Okay. Which I don't love, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a little weird. I'm just assuming that they're gender indistinct from one another because they're tainted. Yeah, yeah. And that it, you specifically have to have like specific things happen to you to become a brood mother. Like they very specifically like feed you gross yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, pizza. You eat too pizza. much pizza. Too much brood pizza, mother. and you become a horrible, yeah. It, yeah. many nippled blob yeah, it, monster. It makes sense that they'd be sort of a a gender like on on the whole and then the mothers are specifically something else entirely mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Right. This one, though, is intelligent and can choose for itself. So... Eh? What sort of... Am I getting a dude vibe? Yes? Getting a dark spawn vibe. Uh, okay, I I'll suppose... just stick with sir. I suppose okay. we could just ask them what their pronouns are. Not something right. Draft ever expected to ask a Darkspawn, considering Darkspawn don't typically talk. This or... is our first question. I'm asking it its name. Let's see what happens. Uh, if, he, if, if they say Bob, we'll assume he's a dude. <laughs> I, I'm Messenger. All right, That's messenger. Really narrows it down. All yeah. right. Since you can talk, it seems kind of rude to call you it. Um, do you have pronouns that you use? <laughs> yes. I have to find a point of grammar. <laughs> now, who's got the Windows messenger? error message? <laughs> what? What? What is? What is? What is? Oh, he's like when you say, when you talk about, but not use name. She is a mage. Right. He is a kunari. He. Uh, and there we right. are. All right, there we go. He. It's good to meet you, messenger. Who exactly are you a messenger for, if I may be so bold as to ask? Was messenger for architect but architect gone so oh right i heard about that one you know architect i mean that's about the extent of my knowledge yeah but i heard of him he makes Who's the architect he make me he give me i'm free from call i'm free from oh. call Right, this so is there I have some no sort idea of explanation for this. What is this? Me architect? neither, Alan. So, right, let me explain. Um, oh. So, when the blights happen, um, there's this big dragon, yeah, and it uh, mm -hmm. it, it tells all the dark spawn what to do, and they they go all raw and stab, stab, kill. Uh, um, oh, a slaver. Uh, kinda. No, like uh, the the the, the voice in head. Yeah, it's, it's more like um, oh. general, like Solus, a bit from what we've been hearing. But yeah, it's it's not so much like a slaver as it is like mind control. Um, but we didn't think they had any mind to really control beyond stab, stab, kill, kill. But apparently, um, this architect one did, and the rumor, at least, is that he made more like this. Not, not many, uh, still alive. Alive. Oh. It is very sad. I'm gonna give, yes. him, a I'm gonna give him a tiny cake. Oh. <laughs> Are the undead mages your enemy? They do not like, but most do not like. So, basically, Messenger here is a bad guy, but not necessarily a bad guy. I don't... No fight! I help! I help, uh... Mm. Warden! I help Warden! <laughs> and she does, she does, like, the air quotes on, like, the first bad guy. Like, you know, a bad guy, but not a bad guy. <laughs> it's hard. It's Before... I do not think Boat knows how words work. I will ask, is Miss Draffer the first Grey Warden that you've met, Messenger? No! Oh, wow. Messenger for Warden. Are here now? Are there uh -huh. more here now? Uh, He's good. Far, I will bring. Bring to Warden. Oh, that's such a... That's great. Lead it on. sounds good. good. <laughs> Isn't that great, Miss Draffer? We'll get to meet your people. Yes! Great. So great. Um, it's going to be... Has Draft only met shitty exciting. wardens? Has, has Draft only met, what was that? Shitty wardens? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Just like the, the one group that recruited her and then was like, don't call us, we'll call you. 
That's pretty much please, it. <laughs> please go. <laughs> you don't We're seem excited. Put you on this bus. And... Uh, I'm just, you know, tired. Um, because all the running and stuff. So let's go, right? <sighs> okay. Perhaps Miss Drafford is a bit overwhelmed by the presence of Darkspawn. I hear that takes some sort of mental toll on the Grey Wardens. Yep, that's it. Uh, that one right there. That's exactly the oh. problem. And, and well, messenger, messenger uh, as much as they can with their kind of mutilated facial structure, does look um, penitent at that. <laughs> oh. That's a good word. Draft feels slightly bad, but not enough to change what she said. <laughs> I'm going to give him a, another cake. And it just keeps like sh like full face <laughs> shoving. So there's just like, now there's icing on this <laughs> Spawn's face. What about that? It's so um... adorable. Amazing. Is your friend? What about the? Else? Yeah. What about friends. the other dog spawn? Are there any around? Are we in danger from them? We and and messenger points at himself and draft. We we sense, but so, none none now. All right, that's good. But maybe when we go down uh, into deep roads, gets hmm. more likely. Uh, and draft has kind of been slowly putting two and two together, and it's now it's like, oh, right, that's why I had the weird feeling. That's what this is like. You know, sort of in her head, going like, "Right, I heard about this. Okay," uh, but outwardly, it's just like, "Yeah, exactly. I can sense it." <laughs> My gray warden senses tingling. <laughs> I taint senses. <laughs> uh, nope, that's nope. not what we're calling that. <laughs> so that's the uh, oh. theme of today's show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm here to have a fun time. Oh, watch <laughs> out for the Grey Wardens. They'll sense your taint. Yeah. <laughs> I already had to deal with this with Jay earlier when I was driving <laughs> this to their appointment. And I, was, I was discussing the, the, the dark spawn and taint, and they, were, they just would not stop laughing. But yeah, that's what it's sense. called. It's called the taint. <laughs> hey, See, that's a word that has many meanings. Okay, the taint one and the taint. one of the many reasons we're all friends. Uh, because we all have the sense of humor of a 12 year old. <laughs> yeah, they knew yeah. what they were doing, naming it. Mm -hmm. The taint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, just go to Bioware and be like, you knew what you were doing. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. So you're traveling further and further down. Um, eventually messenger kind of turns off and does like kind of almost jumps down a little shaft and goes come down uh -uh. Um, all right I'll after you jade i of course as you insist i'll jump down <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna wait for a second it it seems there's safe. no horrible splat or sound <laughs> of breaking ankles True. are you okay jade Indeed I am, ma'am. Thank you for asking. And okay, I'll, then I go. I'll drop through. down so that everybody so that the other two so the mages, you know, can just Lock land on me instead. Your... Yeah. I was gonna do that, but I'm not gonna catch Alan because that's death. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I and I think down. he's not even he's not even in his big heavy armor yet. No. <laughs> the trap is following right after everybody. Beautiful. Could be a battering you, ram by that point. So you'd been in a in a slightly claustrophobic underground tunnel, and suddenly you were in an enormous tunnel, and huh. it's crafted like it's falling apart and decrepit. But this is definitely the deep roads. This is nice. Mm. Um, we have different definition of nice. I mean, the stonework there is gorgeous. It is. Yes, yes, he's, he's pretty rock. <laughs> what popped into my head is just Jade going like, I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer home here, but the, the rocks are actually quite lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Changing rooms. Ah, <sighs> goodness. Changing rooms. <laughs> what? what? Uh, 
it's, 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 a, it's an interior decoration show, okay? Oh, no. Brits will get it. <laughs> Brit, the Brits who watch this will get it. Oh, okay. All right, well, that joke's cut out for the Brits. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. The one person watching this is from the UK. That was for you. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Messenger <sighs> starts to take you along through the deep roads. Um, and it's it's honestly kind of awe-inspiring. Like, obviously, like I said, very much falling apart and, like, broken in a lot of places, and often you have to, like, climb over rubble, but, like, the art, like, the, the structural um, building here is, is beautiful. Anyway, you're going along for a while. Is there anything to loot? Because all of this is pretty. In the road area you're in, there might be occasional yeah, things to loot. Yeah, little dwarven little things. Well, let's, let's find out what there is to loot. Or, I, like I an just ancient this way to the bar sign. There's <laughs> not a this way to the bar sign. You're, you are in the literal deep roads, not in one of the many tykes. Hmm. Um, okay. Presumably if you find a tyke, there would be a ton to Okay, loot. okay. A roadside toilet. This way to the roadside toilet. Did the deep roads have rest stops? <laughs> they have to, right? It only makes sure, sense. You just Is go that, by the side it, of the road. I mean, well, there's like, do they have convenience stores? Like, can I pick up some ho hos on my way? I cannot imagine that they spent all this time making the road beautiful and then told everyone, ah, eh, just shit wherever you want. <laughs> No way! Mate, the, the, the only no counterpoint I way. have to that, the only counterpoint I have to that, is the entirety of human history. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we will do it, but it's true. But these are dwarves, so you know. Oh, okay. That's, that's human fair. history that's doesn't fair. apply to dwarves. They, they, they develop hygiene far sooner than mankind um, did. That's actually really a point. So, like in all of the dark, the, oh, the deep roads maps we're in, there's not really anything going on except for in the tykes. But these are really long roads, so like, I would assume there'd have to be some kind of pit stops built into the mon in places i see there's, there's got to be enough like just like big like big like cliff road... faces that go into the lava i mean that seems most logical thing maybe there's just some little seats cut into the side of the yeah i'm imagining yeah. like like a highway pullover area yeah, yeah. I'm envisioning literally like like there's the side of the road there's a little seat cut in it you sit down on the seat Falls into the lava, good to go. Every once in a while, there's like little little dug into the wall rooms where you can go do your business. Just piss into the lava. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that this. that's like a, a game, really. <laughs> now I have to think about how piss would interact with the lava. <laughs> would it make a like? Would it make? Because it what? What's the temperature? It would just burn and evaporate. <laughs> Straight away. You're right. It'd probably just evaporate. Okay, so now that we solved that mystery, <laughs> um, <Hey>, Scooby Doo. <laughs> like, oh, bro. oh my god! All right, let's say that as we're walking down, you do pass by one of the like this this kind of cutout area to the side that seems to have. It, it looked like it would probably be used to make camp while traveling down the roads. But there's not really anything there, so. Darn. Curses. Um, however, as you're checking this area out, the messenger suddenly straight like straightens right up, and draft you get that sinking feeling in your stomach again. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we got um, more company, I think. And the messenger is like, ah, I, I have, I hide, I hide now. It like goes and hides behind a bench. <laughs> and Draft just has a sort of like, well, thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> that sort of expression has her arms up like, the fuck? Uh, Ms. Draft, do you have any <clears throat> tips for us? Do, I think do, any of us do have we hide as well? Or... Yes. Can you handle this alone? Or... Um... <laughs> I don't know. She just looks at Jay's like, I got a boat oar and some brass knuckles. You think I can fight Dark Spawn by myself? I mean, you uh, seem very capable, man. 
It like, means you <clears throat> probably not survive, but technically, technically you, you can. Uh, I mean, right, just I don't believe in you. You're a good quality boat. Don't get any of the blood in any uh, cuts or anything or in your mouth. Your mouth or your eyes or... Yeah. <laughs> ah, don't stab them. All right. I swap out the, the crossbow for the stick, which this would just to know. dent them. <laughs> like you could stab them, just don't get the blood in you. Yeah. If you stab them, there is blood. If you bash them, not so much. I accept this. I, I, I suppose mean, that's how, true. How rigorously I gotta stab them? That's well, you know, how I much? Mean, do sprayage. dark spawn have circulatory systems? Is a good question too. Are they if undead? They They're blood, living. Obviously, They're living. they have a circulatory system. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's more I would more like them as living. I, I should say functioning circulatory systems. Because their so blood is black. Scientific questions about a fantasy game, right? <laughs> right. Now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have everybody kind of roll prep initiative then, because right. they're coming. Makes sense. Um, uh, thanks to draft, you even coming. know what direction they're coming from. It's from nice, Jade. Did, did Dang, Jade. Did that roll actually work? Yeah. Yeah. No. Total zero. Total zero, but we can count Total it. Total zero. We can count it up. Yeah. We're going to have to fight. I got a nine. 19. Oof. And don't five stun have... points. Jay, don't you have an additional <clears throat> plus two? Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to fight roll 20 at some point. But That's all. Huh. Oh, that's... Or at least yeah. this so particular character should be... Even two more. So it's 21? That's insane. <laughs> Um, in addition to that, Velika, Wait. Jade. Yeah. Velika, Jade, and Draft all got stunt points, um, which I don't think normally apply to initiative stuff, but we can just, you guys can do prep things if you want since you have um, time. <laughs> I just get ready to cast a spell. Um, you Ooh. do know what direction they're coming from. Oh, they're yeah. coming from kind of a hole on the other side Ooh. of the. Can I uh, cast rock armor on myself? Absolutely. I'm going to do that. I will allow that as a pre thing. Um, <clears throat> I might do stay aware. Because I think that would apply. Um, I don't have enough. We, there's also seize the initiative. If you have four stunt points, you can move yourself in the initiative order. Jade is already first in the initiative order, so he probably doesn't need to use that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would like to use stay aware. You take a moment to make sure you're mindful of everything that's happening around you. Make a target number 11 perception test with the focus of your choice. If you succeed, the GM may either make you aware of some battlefield situation that has so far escaped your notice, or give you a plus one bonus to the next test you make. Uh, it can't stack with anything other than uh, uh, a focus. <clears throat> Must be used on the very next test you make uh, and expires at the end of your next turn. Okay. Uh, I would like to use uh, Detect Darkspawn <clears throat> as All my right, focus. Alright, because that'll... Let's... Because that's page 74. Hey, I got a 13. In this uh, next fight, Jade is... Um... Alan's battlefield commander. Oh, heck yeah. No. Are we assuming that you can't go into trance until you physically see them? Uh, I think or whenever he free? starts, basically whenever, yeah, I think as soon as, as soon as it is clear in his head that it's an attack, that's when it clicks on. And then unless Jade says otherwise, he's just going to kill everything deemed a an enemy. Okay. Kill all the dark spawn. Well, what do you know? <laughs> it was already my plan. <laughs> Be sure to get the one behind the bench. <clears throat> so, with that... No, not that one. <laughs> we need that one. So you do get to um, kind of you, you hone in on that sinking feeling in your stomach to try and feel out what's out there. Um, and you can sense that there's about you think seven of them, five of them seem to be similar to um, Messenger, who is a Herlock. 
Um, and then there is a Genlock and a really big one. Oh, one of those. Uh, yeah. Oh, so Draffle will like call that information out to everybody. All right, and as Draff's kind of calling that out, and Bellic is preparing her rock armor, um, Alan appears to have gone deadly silent. Jade, is there anything you want to do with your stunt points to prepare for this? Uh, are we seeing them now, or no? They haven't come out just yet. You know that they're like so. Draft has pointed out that they're yeah. coming out from a hole on in the like a crack in the wall on the other side of the road. Yeah. But we do know how many there are now, and that there was one really big one. Mm -hmm. So hearing that, I will swap back to the crossbow, just because I don't want to go into melee with the huge one. Um. You could try and get like an advantageous position so that you're kind of out of the way of the fight, or yes. All right. I'm gonna oh. stand next to the bench. Oh. So I get right. cover from the bench. Yeah. All so right. That's the only reason. This bench. <laughs> yeah. We love we love bench. Uh, <clears throat> messenger has peeked over the bench like, oh, fight! We fight. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then, as that's happening, like six dark spawn and a heckin' ogre oh. come out of a crack in the wall and are running at you full tilt. It seems like the sort of thing we should run away from, but here we go. <laughs> Combat, hooray! Listen, I took away your chance to fight death mages, so I have to give you some. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, we, we needed the XP from those those zombie people, okay? Uh, we do have, just as a reminder to everyone uh, if in the cast and to anybody watching, uh, so Anina has three advantages in a crit. Uh, Ooh, a crit as well. Ooh. Yeah. B it's here it's... has an advantage in a crit. Sorry, go ahead. Anna. I was just going to say, um, Paladin lovingly donated some money and then let me choose who got what, so we've given some crits away to people. Yeah. Um, Hannah has an advantage. Uh, I have a crit and an advantage. Uh, and that's everything on the board. Uh, and yes, thank you very much to Paladin for that $30 donation before we started. Um, and then, yeah, if you would also like to change things in combat that's, that's happening, there are uh, lots of options down below my face here to to help or hinder us. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm gonna roll some initiative for messenger as well, and some initiative for the dark spawn, who I'm going to treat as one entity. All right. Okay, and then we have. Velika at 12. Jade's at 21. Wait, Velika has two initiatives? Maybe it glitched when I pressed. I'll take the first one, because that's the one that gave you hmm. some points. Uh, so that's a 12 for you. And Alan also is a 12. And Drap is a 9. Okay, so Jade goes up first. There's Five herlocks, Genlock, and behind them a very large ogre has have burst out of the wall. Yeah. I will attempt to shoot the ogre. Perfect. Shoot away. Thanks. I'm, I'm quite nervous. This is going to be terrible. Let's see. Is there is there one that gives me a to hit bonus? No, right? No. I, recall. I believe so. Okay. All right, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm just gonna click the button. Click. Yeah. I'm. Uh, the, I'm gonna try to knock him prone if this hits. That's the the plan. That's the stunt I'm using. It didn't hit. Sadness. So uh, Jade from near the bench shoots crossbow and it kind of dings off of the ogre's natural looking armor. Um, and mm. they're all just still running. Uh, next up is Hick Hack. 
12, 13. Where is my brain? I'm very sorry. Okay, so between Velika has the higher dexterity, so we'll let Velika go first. Okay. <clears throat> she is going to cast. Let's do shock. All I'm right. Casting shock. Tell us about shock. Uh, electricity arcs from your hands or the end of your staff, shocking enemies in a six yard area. So Anyone take- in this area takes 1d6 plus magic penetrating damage. Okay. Say constitution, constitution versus my spell power. All right. What's the, uh, what do they all have to, to beat then? My spell power. Should so, be, I think 10 plus your magic. My magic is three, so 13. Okay. Oh, I, I rolled to cast spell, right? Or do I just, does it just happen? So if, if it's them making a save against it, you just mm. cast the spell. Um, and they have to try and make a save. Yeah. What is there? You say it was con? Yeah. Okay. Be weak, 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 weak. Come on. Electrocute. I'm checking what all of their cons are. They have many cons. If they are successful, they only take 1d6 damage. Perfect. That's good. Because uh, they take damage regardless. Ogre was successful because he's an ogre. Uh, the herlocks all miss. I refuse to roll dice for seven creatures. <laughs> uh, and the genlock missed. So, so the people let's... who miss take one d six and my magic, which is three. Okay. And the ones who successfully just take the one d six. Okay, so let's roll that one d six. I think that was it. the uh, attack roll. Yeah, just roll a. Um... Oh, just one to six, sorry. Yeah, it was for the damage. <clears throat> Two. <laughs> Would you like to use any of your. Yes, I like to use my crit, please. Ooh. For the love of all oh, that's holy. Can you, you can crit on damage, yeah? Yeah. No, why the heck not? Uh, okay, so I need to have like a piece of paper or something. What am I doing? All right, so that means that the Herlocks and Genlocks take the six plus three, so nine damage, um, and the Ogre mm. takes just the six. Yes. Beautiful. Zappity, zappity. Let's just do a little little charty chart. That cost me four. That's a really effective spell for four mana points. It's- mm. That's yeah. nice. That's a good one. And everyone, the my computer did autocorrect her lock to Turlock, so just so that we're all aware <laughs> of that. Uh, next up will be Alan. Then, Alan, right. it's time. It's time to smash. Uh, Alan's going to charge at the ogre and hit him with violence. Hit him with violence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And and you get stuff points. Woo! Nice. And you need... you hit him. Woo! Woo! I need to look up the combat stunts to see what they do. <laughs> okay. So five. You can do anything you want. You could even do a lethal blow, which means you inflict an extra 2d6 damage on your attack. Ooh. So that's Ooh. five stun points. Or are you gonna attempt to knock it prone? Yeah, or... yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the lethal. I'm gonna go with the lethal blow. Heck yeah, do a 
frankly ridiculous amount of damage, my friend. Okay, well let's let's see how much the normal ridiculous is, and then we will add the uh, the the rest of it. Okay, so we're we're starting at an eleven. And that's with your. Yes. That's Step just my nor- That's just my normal. That's just the roll, or is that with the? That's um... just my two d six plus five. Okay, that's your two d six plus five. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna roll. D6 to apparently add, so I dealt 21 points of damage. All right. It's pretty mad at you. I'd imagine it probably has bits detached from it at this point. <laughs> it's still up, but it you have not happy. A lethal blow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh next up will be who had eleven? Uh, oh, Messenger had eleven. Uh, so Messenger is going to pull a little crossbow out from his back and attempt to shoot one of the, the Genlock because it's visibly distinct. And there go all my dice. Um, he, he failed miserably. It, this is why Messenger didn't want to fight. <laughs> did you tell us which type of Darkspawn Messenger is? Messenger is uh, a Hurlock. Hurlock, yeah. Okay, so that's draft then. Uh, who has any any damage? Uh, anyone have damage from our last fight? Mm. I think I had. Like, I believe some people did. Yeah. It. Yeah. Well, I had taken four damage at the last fight. Yeah, I took four damage at the last fight yeah. as well. So Except I, was I think Velika's four damage actually is is, is relevant. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll go. <laughs> well. It, it was, yeah, because my health went up, so max went up, but yeah. yeah. Still missing that four. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that the difference between how much four mm. hit points means for you versus mm. how much four hit points means yeah. for Alan, <laughs> yeah. which kind of orders a magnitude type thing. Uh, I'll go heal. Um, I'll heal Velika and then throw a, an arcane lance at the closest thing. Um... So we'll do healing as minor action. Ugh, I didn't actually hit it. Dang it. So I don't heal. Versus. And then let's throw an arcane lance at, I guess, the the genlock, because they tend to have magic stuff. Okay, wow. So uh, that's a nine. Uh, I have now rolled three nines in a row. Sadly, the nine does not hit. Cool. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It's okay. It's time to get attacked, everyone. We're going to start with the ogre. That's just rude. It's a little rude. <laughs> uh, okay. The ogre is going to smash. Alan, tell me about your defense. Um, my defense is I may have put you guys a in thirteen. Over I have armor of four. Well, he does hit. Okay. He's an ogre. Yeah, that that, that seems fair. Uh, he does a lot of damage. Yeesh. Right, here we go. 18. Whew. And I get to take off four because of my armor, so it's 14. Beautiful. Yeah, thankfully... Uh, Down to 37. I'm assuming it hasn't been an hour since our last fight, right? No. Cool, so I still have rock armor. <laughs> Oh, good. That's good. Yeah. Um, I don't have to recast it, which is fantastic. It like me at the beginning of this going like, oh, how many dark spawn do I think is a reasonable amount to put against my friends? <laughs> Whoops, I did too many. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, it's fine. We're fine. Okay. As long as they don't bleed on us, which they yeah. won't because we keep missing. <laughs> 
it's hey, true. I did not miss. I yeah, I know. I have enough mana to like <laughs> do a group heal in this fight so, if we need it. So the Genlock is going to throw and do a throwing axe at Draft. Nice. Tell me about your defense, Draft. Uh, I have a defense of twelve and currently with an armor of four. You're good. It, it, you're good. It doesn't hit. Draft literally looks at the thing, and goes, "Ha!" <laughs> yes, Todd the dark spot. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see what all these hurlocks do. They let's hurl just... things. That's what they do. <laughs> they, they hurl things at locks. Mm -hmm. These have, guys have ridiculous bonuses. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay. So, one of them attacks Alan. Um, and this is a number. Yeah, that does hit. I'm so sorry. It just keeps happening. I'm so afraid. It's, it's fine. Literally what I'm... Okay. All right, I'm going to stop apologizing then and just attack you to death. Uh... <laughs> you can apologize when I die, Yeah. but uh, up until that point, we're solid. Mm -hmm. It is eight damage. Okay, so that's, so that's going to be four. Because good armor is actually kind of nice. Yeah, and imagine when you get even better armor. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Okay, I'm going to... Put some of these into this. Um, draft. Need to stop. Okay, that one doesn't hit. Well, messenger didn't get hit. Well, that's good. Uh, okay. So, as you know, you should never shoot the messenger. Uh huh. You're fired. Velika. <laughs> uh, fired from your own shadow. Yep. <laughs> Bella, you have you've taken seven damage. Um, remember that if you have any armor, you get to take some of that damage off, but you take seven there from a arrow. Every, everyone. You do. You take seven. Me. You are being attacked by a dark spawn. Ah. I'm just doing some rolling. So do I have three armor, so I take three off. Yes. Correct. Okay. And then giraffe. Also seven. Okay. Uh so I take three after armor. Okay, and then we'll go back to the top of the order with Jade. Hooray! Hooray! Good luck! Okay, let's see if the dice are slightly more favorable. And I have to remind myself that I need to increase my dexterity when I level up, and not anything else, so I can hit. All right, he I... Good. I will take out the club. I see if I can't make myself over to the ogre. And I'm going to try to punch him in the knee with the stick. Okay. That's the plan. Go ahead then. That's, that's good. That's pretty You're good. You're good. You're good. Does it hit? Yeah, you have awesome. stunt points. Awesome sauce. Ooh. You have okay. four stunt points. Four stunt points. I'm going to half this dude's armor. Ooh. With, with, with Pierce armor, which costs two. So I have two left. And I use that for not prone. Ah. So, because that makes sense. You know, I, I'm going to knock the guy's knee out and he just collapses. Uh, I think he's in front of Alan, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you see the, the big giant ogre just fall on his face right in front of you. Nice. This is when you um, stab it. All right. Do your mm -hmm. damage. Right. There's damage too. <gasps> okay. Okay. Not a lot of damage. Maximum damage. Whoop, whoop. Six. Is that plus your strength? Do you have any strength? I have one strength. Seven, unless that already did it. it did no, not. it didn't. Perfect. So that's seven damage against him. We're going to have oh, his okay, can... armor because I'm realizing yeah. all these things. So that will do. Run down. 
four damage. Not me realizing that an ogre has a seven armor rating. Uh, it's halved, so. Wow. For your attack. Yeah, for my attack. All right, and he, he, Jay just knocked this guy prone, which does mean that everybody gets a plus one bonus on their attack rolls against him until it gets up. Nice. So that would put us at Velika. What okay. you up to, Velika? Are they all clubbed together still? All the uh, enemies? Yes, more or less. Yeah, they're all kind of, they're all still clumped around Alan. Some of them are doing like projectile weapons at you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's change it up a bit and cast Winter's Grasp. Ooh. Tell us. Um... Okay, a visible target within 20 yards of you envelops in frost that lasts the number of rounds equal to your magic ability, which is three. Mm -hmm. So this is a three round thingy. Um, it's a, another constitution against my spell power. All right. If it's successful, the spell ends. If okay. it's if it's failed, then they get uh, the damage. Can I can I affect more than one of them? This one will be a single one. target. Okay, the the biggest. No, not the biggest one. Hmm? One of them. Not the troll. Oh, not the big guy. But not the ogre. Else. Yeah, not the ogre. Okay. Uh, you know, Trish of again luck or one of three herlocks. What are the herlocks? All right. Uh, would you like to, there's two with bows and mm -hmm. one that is attacking Alan with a sword. I'll do one of the bows. Got one it. of people with the bows. Get them out. Good luck, out her way. luck. No. He's frozen solid. Yay! So he takes 1d6 penetrating damage Perfect. and suffers uh, minus two penalty to speed. Beautiful. For three rounds. Three rounds. Yeah, I believe he has to do a save every time to try and get out yeah. of that. All right. Mm. Uh, so go ahead and really damage there. Do, 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 do. Ooh, there we go. Hey. There we go. Is that plus your magic or just? Just one is just that. Okay, got it. Alrighty, uh, that'll be Alan then. All right. I am Murder o'clock. Going to use the violence. I approve. That is a seventeen with no stat points. You you do violence. Okay. Are you violencing the ogre? Yes. Deal 14 damage. Okay. He does have six armor rating. We're counting that now. Hey. It's starting to look a little rough. Also, he's on the ground. So that's does, not helping that his assist. case. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh that's Messenger then. Messenger's gonna attempt to shoot again, luck again. Maybe more successfully this time. More successfully this time. Jade, how much does your crossbow do in damage? It does. My crossbow does 2d6 plus one. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, well, and Messenger's doing a great job on the damage now that they've actually, he's actually hit. Because <laughs> uh, he just rolled a 10. So... Getting locks have 
that armor rating, so that's going to be a 10. Sorry for the noise, I'm not sure what's going on upstairs. I do not hear any noise. Oh, that's good. I don't believe in noise. Deck and lock looks like it's on its last legs. Now it's Draft's turn. Awesome. I'm going to try and heal Velika again. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, that there was target go. number. So you get 12 plus one. So 13 hit points back from Yay, that. Yay, I'm back to the full. Right. Um, and then I'm going to... How are you doing on health there, Alan? Uh, I'm at 33 out of 51. Okay. I'm going to spend uh, two magic points. Yeah, let's do two two mana um and what are you casting for for heal um let's do that it didn't do a thing uh it's five six seven eight plus Imagine four it. so that is 12 target number was 10 uh so i'm gonna spend two mana points so you get 2d6 health back Eight. Two D six. Four. <laughs> That's brutal. Yeah. That's rude. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna use my advantage on that. Yeah. Let's get at least an average two D six roll. Thank you. Six. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so perfectly. Ever. So glad you did the bare minimum there. Uh, Dice, Dice roller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's my turn. <laughs> it's dark spawn time. Uh, the ogre is going to get up um, and attack Alan again with his club. That is enough to hit Alan. Oh, jeez. Eleven. Twenty points. Of damage to Alan. Twenty. Ouch. 20. Okay, so it's, uh, Ow. Sixteen. Yeah, I am now at 23, which means I am an average mage now. <laughs> that's, that's actually what my hit points are at at the moment. Yeah, well, it only took like, what, three, four brutal strikes from an ogre. Yeah. They're very strong. I realize that most people don't encounter ogres on their level three, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's he's basically fine. soloing. He's, well, very close to soloing it. <laughs> You fight an ogre in Ostagar and Origins, that's that's fine. Yeah, that's a yeah, thing. That was a boss fight. <laughs> Not a random encounter. It was, in fact, a boss fight. Uh, the Genlock is mad at, at Messenger and shoots at him. Um, and Messenger makes a little ye yelping noise and hides back behind the bench. Um, that's fair. So much. So that leaves us some hurlocks. Um, the one that Anina froze is going to attempt to get out of that freezing and fail miserably. <laughs> Aha, he takes damage again. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah, all right. Do that damage then. Jeez. <laughs> this poor dark spot. Man. It's trying to eat our faces. It is, in fact, trying to eat your faces. All yeah. right, that's full. All right, perfect. I mean, he has a penalty if he tries to move. Minus hey. two to speed. He's not going to try to move. He's very upset about the situation that he's in. And the remaining he has two regrets. are going to shoot bows at Velika and Draft again. Uh, Velika's misses horribly. Yeah, I think he's afraid of you now. 
Oh, so does drafts. These guys are useless. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <geez. laughs> um, I think maybe at the middle of that round, do we want to take a break now or do we want to finish combat? I'm good taking a break here. All right. Yeah. We're in the middle of a horrible situation. Uh, Alan is getting smashed to death a bit, but it'll be fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. How will this all turn out? Tune in after the break. Exactly. We'll be right back.
we are back. Yeah. Who will live and who will die? That's uh, the question. It's a mystery. <laughs> My guess is Alan. <laughs> we just get Alan too. Oh, other Alan. <laughs> other Alan. <laughs> was the brother of Alan, other Alan, yeah. <laughs> who is exactly like to make the same. Meat pie. <laughs> oh, different, totally different. Yes. <laughs> they use a hammer. And there are gray wardens, so they have an easier time taking vengeance. Yes. Amazing. I don't think there are any gray warden Kunari yet, probably. There are now. Yeah, I don't think there are. Yeah, if I'm giving that, uh, yeah, I think that, yeah, that, that's that becomes an option. That's where I'm going next. Because um, you gave me intelligent dark spawn. That makes me so happy. What's that? A ritual where I have to drink? Awesome! Chug, 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 <laughs> chug, chug, that's chug, basically chug. how Draft saw it. <laughs> Let's make this more interesting. <laughs> Just a bunch of Kunari bros doing the. Uh, <laughs> doing, <laughs> The whole dark spawn ritual. <laughs> oh, cho, cho, cho. What if they headbutt each other as like a bro high five? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah. Or they're just yep. doing shots of the, the blood and stuff. <laughs> shots, 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 shots. Pizza I'm first. gonna be the most grayest warden that was ever existed. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> Oh, that role will be Kunari played by Keanu Reeves. Like we just yes. broke Keanu. Uh, Jade's at the top. <laughs> Literally, I can't hear her. I think she's broken. Is it my turn? Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to backstab uh, the ogre. All right. Do it. Okay. I have to do something too. Right. There's a thing involved. It's tricky. I remember this now. I have regrets about backstabbing. <laughs> Let's see. A post trick, so I have to do a dexterity stealth roll. And then they have to do... Something else. I, I, I got lost. They do perception seeing. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a 16, so good luck with that. What is this man's perception? All right, okay. A man, I do mean ogre. You're backstabbing the ogre, right? Yes. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve? Okay. Twelve. So I have to do backstab, which is different. Okay. Get a plus one on this. So it's a two. I finally figured out how this stupid thing works. Hooray! Figuring out how dumb things work. So that's a fifteen. That hits. Yes? That does hit. Correct. Okay, good. Okay, then we do damage. And, and you get that... to inflict an additional one D six damage. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's 2d6. Eight. That's pretty good. Excellent. So. What if I could do math? There we go. Um, so he'll take. Wait, no, I already did that in half. Apparently headphones don't work when they are unplugged and mics don't work when you have muted them. What? This is true. <laughs> I know, I was shocked by this revelation. Um, I did, I was just reading, we might have to implement this forward. I think this is a silly thing, but it does say that you cannot backstab someone you start your, the round adjacent to, um, which I think is rude, but you get a thing at level four right. that allows you to do that. But okay. we're going to allow this one to slide because I'm assume I'm just going to... you not The ogre's too big to notice me. Yeah. Like, it makes busy. sense for smaller people, right? Yeah. Because they know you're there, but and he's this guy is so huge. He has no idea. Alan. All right. That is Velika's turn then. Okay. She is going to cast Flame Blast, um, which hits... Tell us about your flame blast. Eight yards long and two yards wide. So I'm going to try and get as many of these douches in that area. And um, obviously I'll not... give you I'll give you the genlock and the three furlocks, but the yes. ogre's kind of behind Alan, so... 
Anyone <laughs> hit by the blast takes 2d6 plus 1 damage. Uh, a successful dexterity versus my spell power only takes 1d6 plus 1. All right, let's do some decks on all of these fine gentlemen. Yes. What are their deck stores, scores, sabors? I'm having a hard time with the brain. It, it's the week for that. It's the week for it. that. Last week was also the week for that for me, so we're having a time. Yeah, the, the brain struggle week is one of those <clears throat> irregular events. That it can crop up all over the place. Yeah. Like a time loop where we can't get out every week. Everyone failed. <laughs> Yay. 2d6 plus 1. So that would be 6 points on all of them. Well, you've murdered the Genlock to death. So one down. Ooh! Yay! Um, I realize that with Draft's <laughs> ridiculous healing abilities, I probably actually can pour out more damage and it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 feeling I'm feeling a little uh, uncomfortable Attacked. with that line of uh, that uh, line of reasoning. I'm getting to you next, Alan. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, it is. I've taken Alan's, a lot of damage. It is Alan's turn. It's because you're fighting an ogre. Heck. Yeah, and I'm soaking up a lot of it, and that's fine. But like the oh look, we just need to give put more damage out. That kind of. I was that's... just I was panicking because I thought I threw way way too much at you, but I. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Then. I was like, oh, it's not actually as as bad as I thought because giraffe is ridiculous. <laughs> because she can just heal you for as a minor action. That's uh, a Thirteen hit. Yes, and you do get that one stunt point. Sweet. Let me flip this real quick. <clears throat> the only okay, so there's skirmish, rapid reload, and stay aware that cost one. Yeah, I don't think skirmish is really going to be all that useful. Well, you can move him. And then... How close are we to an edge? There's not really any edges in this area. Oh, okay. In this part of it? Okay. Whenever I think of the deep roads, I just think of, like, the big bridges over, like, lava rivers, so... Yeah. yeah. You're near... They, you're near one of them, a pit stop they made, so they, they tried to not make those near any lava edges. Okay. To avoid people um, rolling in. I think I'm going to. I'm gonna uh, after seeing the the fire go off. Um, I'm gonna move him to where the fire might where that fire yeah, might be. Yeah, you could kind of like you could like skirmish him into a more advantageous position for the others to hit him. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm what I'm thinking. It's, and that also seems like a simple enough strategy that it would go through the uh, the haze, um, the battle haze. Yeah, the trance. Uh, Go ahead and do that damage then. Boop. Eleven points of damage. Okay, let me do some simple math for this boy. Okay, he's not dead yet, and it's Draft's turn. No, wait, it's Messenger's turn. Messenger's hiding. <laughs> I'm gonna have him do. I'm gonna have him do a willpower save to see if he can stop being afraid because he got shot. Yeah, yeah, he's eyed. Right. He's like, okay, all right, okay, I can do this. I can do this, and goes to shoot uh, the herlock that is in trapped in ice, and promptly misses. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot do this. Oh, poor messenger. <laughs> All right, now it's Draft's turn. So, uh, refresh my memory in Dragon Age, is it like a move, major, and minor action? Is that the what we have to work with? Yes, so it's minor action. Um, there's major actions and minor actions. A move would be part of your minor actions. Okay. Uh, so can I move over to where Alan is, use heal, and still do a spell? I'm going to say no. Okay. Because you'd have to move and... No. Okay. You can heal him with magic from here, but... Right, right, right. Uh, That's also a move, so... You yeah. Heal, move, and then be prepped to heal him for the next one. I think I will do that. Uh, let's do... <clears throat> 
Let's do the heal spell. Okay. At three mana points. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, plus four. So yeah, that's that's over ten. Uh, Great. So that will be twelve uh, hit points back. For Alan. For Alan. Um, and then I will run over and get ready to actually use uh, heal and a spell next time. Sounds good. Uh, it's dark spawn time. Ogre continue to attack Alan. He's a good thing to take. <clears throat> He's like almost guaranteed to hit because of how ridiculous his attack is. All right, so he hits. Uh, let's see how much damage he do. Seven plus an amount. 15. Ouch. Good, Good thing that, um... you just got 12 hit points back. Uh, yes. <clears throat> and you have your armor. Okay, this all right. This is math. Okay, so I'm gonna put the twelve on. One, two, three, four, eight. God. Don't do math. Math is dumb. Yeah, it's just that's why it's why I have a degree in theater and not in you know <laughs> I have literally a anything accounting, else. so I actually really like math. Okay, so twelve and then the, how much that was fifteen? Yes. 15. Okay, so that's 4, 11. Okay. I'm at 24. Excellent. Uh, right. Herlock is going to attack with a sword. Is he going to do something? No, he's frozen. That's what he's doing. No, that was one of the bow ones. Now I'm confused. All right, well, Herlock is attacking Alan then. And he fails. Because he's terrible at his job. Um, Yay. Our frosty man is going to attempt to get out of his frost situation. This will be the last round for him, I believe. And this time he does get out of the frost. He breaks free angrily and actually rushes at you, Velika, uh, oh, with no. his sword. Can I, is there a dodge action? <laughs> we'll just yeah. see if he hits. He absolutely hits. <laughs> mm, I have three armor, still. So. Okay. Mm. He does a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, ow, 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 ow. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Um, well, I was at full health, so still standing. And did you take your off that the armor stuff for that? Okay. Okay. So. I think it's eleven because you have eleven. A um, at twenty-one. See, you're fine. Everything's fine. Ow! That was a big ow. Uh, the one. That was shooting at draft before is going to take out his sword and attack because draft is now within range. Six, draft, what's your um, defense? Uh, my defense is 12. Ugh. He just misses. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, top of the order again because the Genlock is dead. Jade? <sighs> Okay, I am gonna backstab the guy that's attacking Draft. All right. You move around. He seems distracted. Dexterously. Yep. I, I think I can get there from from over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. So first stealth versus perception. <laughs> you rolled a sixteen again. Sorry. <laughs> I rolled all twos. 
No, he doesn't see you. Look, I'm hitting you with a stick. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just super amused. Okay. So that's an eleven. I Was think that that's it? Uh, eleven against a herlock. Nope. Darn. That misses. But you get a plus, don't you? Or did you already include that in your attack bonus? Yes. I think that's already included, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not uh, strong. I, I'm not a melee fighter or a right, dex right. fighter. I'm I'm a butler. This is not what we do. Uh, all right. Sadly, you do miss on your backstab. Yeah. He totally doesn't see you, but also then it doesn't. Oh, I, I can actually use one of the, uh, the stun points to reload my crossbow. I'll allow it. I can immediately reload a missile weapon. Normally, nice. um, if you fail to roll, you don't get the stun points, but I will allow right, it. Right, but this isn't part of the attack. It doesn't do anything, so... Yeah. Shazam. I said I would allow it. Lawyered. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, Velika, it's your turn now. <laughs> There's a guy right in front of you. He just hit you with a sword really hard. Right. right. <laughs> yes. Since he hit me with a sword really hard, I'm going to use Winter's Grasp on him. Again. <laughs> and freeze him, because that was not very nice. He um, just got unfrozen. <laughs> may he freeze again? Yeah, oh, totally. Yes. What's our target? Uh, 13. Oh, he misses it by like one. It's a 12. Yeah. All right. So he takes damage. So, 1d6. All right. Hit that damage at him. Uh, 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 and it's three rounds again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four. Beautiful. All right. And Alan. three rounds. Nice. Now, can I move? Can I move as well? You can move. I'm going to try and back up away from this guy. Are you yeah. going to hide behind the bench with the messenger? Yes. That's a good idea. Uh, Alan. I am going to use the power of violence. It's my favorite move. Ooh. That looks like a good one. And you have an absolute ton of stun points. Yes, I need to see. Well, I think. Let me. You have six. You have enough to do a lethal blow again if you want. And I'm gonna do another lethal blow because seriously, screw this guy. All right, hit him up. Yes, and well, and also, bird him. Take the stay awake. I guess. Stay aware. Stay aware, yeah, that one. It's a good All one. Right. I have a thing I will tell you when, once you have a, attacked the ogre. Okay. After how much damage goes out. Boop. And then an additional. So that's a total of. <laughs> how, do, how do you how do you want to do this? Let's do thirty five. <laughs> No, how, or 25. How do you 25. how do you kill this ogre? Tell me about it. Um, okay. What's so gonna happen is the ogre kind of like the ogre sort of does like kind of going for this big like attack down. Alan just like charges forward with his shield, not like it gets enough force, sort of pushes it back on onto its back, and then just dives the sword clean through clean through its center and does like the twist. Oh. Done. And then just then just like pulls it out and looks looks at like the next guy. It's a little intimidating, yeah. A little, a little bit. <laughs> just casually, like the way you'd you know pick out onions. <laughs> <laughs> what is the way to pick out onions? Uh, how does that? Uh, well, first you have to murder an ogre. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's that's the part that most people miss. That's why they do it wrong. That's why I'm so see. bad at cooking. It's just exactly you're not killing it. Ogres. Not ogres. Yeah, I'm, I'm always fresh out of ogres. 
<clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a world shortage. I mean, yeah. You know what the supply lines are like. And then, and, and then you look at if, if Alan spoke. <laughs> it. If Alan the supply spoke of during fighting, just went. <laughs> if Alan spoke during fighting, he could say something like, "And it'll be ogre for you too." Oh God. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Although uh, the dead silence is way more, way more horrifying. Uh, way, way more horrifying. Dead I just wanted faced. to tell a bad joke. Uh, Messenger <laughs> is going to attempt to do another willpower save because that that was actually a little terrifying to him. He's like, oh, no. that man just killed. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he's doing okay at the willpower, though. He's like, okay, no, he's on my side, so it's fine. <laughs> um, he's going to shoot at the herlock that uh, Velika has frozen. And not miss this time. Yay! Yay! <clears throat> Good job, messenger. Woo! And do basically nothing for damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is Draft's turn now. So Draft has witnessed this and uh, is kind of like, I don't know, the, the twisting the sword and everything, that might have been a little ogre kill. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna heal Alan. <laughs> or try so here's to. here's a here's a I guess it's regular healing, not magic healing. I do have a, a kind of an interesting question. How does Alan mm. react to magic affecting him if he's in his battle trance? That's a good question. Something to think about. Because this will just be regular healing, I think. Yeah, this I, is. I think I think I think the way he's sort of tranced out. If it's from a, if it's from a designate, if it's from like an ally, or something he's protecting, then then he's not going to in any way resist it. Okay. If it, even if it's beneficial from somebody who isn't marked as one of those, like somebody like new comes in, or like if somebody was new comes into the battle or something like that, then everything they do is suspect and and unless told by whoever his commander is at the moment. To not, he will just try and murder them. I just remember that I forgot that to sense. tell Alan the thing that he got from the Stay Aware. Oh, uh, yeah? There is another pounding set of running footsteps coming at you, not from the direction that the Darkspawn came in, but from further down the roads that he broke. Mm. Ooh. Interesting. Hitchhiker. Sweet. So that is nine hit points back from the healing. What's Draft doing next? Uh, and then... Uh, Velika and Jade are pretty much okay on hit points, right? Uh, well, I'm at 21, so I lost 11. Okay. Hit points. Um, <clears throat> how's Alan doing now? Um, He's at 24 of 51. Okay. So he's, he's bloodied if you wanted to use that term. Um, I'm going to do rejuvenation or rejuvenate on Alan and then next turn I'll go over to Velika and do some more healing. Um, so mana cost is 5. Target number is 15. Oof. Ooh. I do That's have high. a. It is. I do have a crit if I need it. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four. T oh, seriously, one off. Oh, that's brutal. Do I have any bonuses to that? I do. I have a plus two to creation magic. Uh, so that that actually that actually does beat it. Hooray! Um. All right, and then I need to spend five mana for that. One, two, three, four, five. You're probably getting pretty low there, eh? Uh, I'm currently at 15. All right. Uh, so Official, next time I have to throw even more at you. <laughs> um, and I was already down some from the last fight and not taking the new stuff yet. So <laughs> when we get all fully healed up and everything, I'll have 35 mana points. Okay, this is good to know. Um, I dumped a lot into magic early on, so I'm getting those 
those points Dividends. every yeah every level um all right you channel regenerative energy to an ally within 10 yards uh so you get 1d6 health immediately so you get but five hit points back right now and then another 1d6 health at the start of the next four turns um since my magic ability is a four jesus that's a lot yeah all right starts one time wait how much is that uh, so one, so you get five hit points back now, and then for the next four turns, at the start of your turn, you get 1d6 hit points back. Nice. Yeah. So Velika, the, the herlock that you've frozen breaks free. Oh, um, And comes at you again. Oh no. Uh, He's bye, very bye. mad at you. Uh, the good news <clears throat> is he rolls really poorly. And misses you entirely for that. Um, Kate, the one that was attacking uh, Alan, will continue. Like <laughs> he's like, oh, he just took out an ogre. I guess I'll have to just keep trying. <laughs> They're dark spawn. Uh, he hits. Thankfully, I am really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and he rolls. 13 damage at the Allen. Ew. Ew. Uh, and the one that attacked Giraffe last time is going to attempt that again. Wait, how much damage was that again? Sorry. 13. 13. Okay. It just Nine. had to. Nine? Yeah. Because it's four off, right? Yeah. And Giraffe. Whoa. Really glad we leveled between uh, <laughs> sessions here. Really right. glad. Okay, that's going to hit draft. Four. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I just realized my max hit points and max mana points are the exact same number. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> 11 damage for draft. Ow. <clears throat> Rude. Oui. Yes. Yeah. Two, oh, that's three, so nice four, for you. Five, six, Take 11 damage. Seven. <laughs> that's so great. Murder. So that's seven damage after armor, which puts me at 16 of 35. So I'm a little bit below half health. All righty. Top of the order again. Oh, that's me. It's Jade. Let's see. What do we have left? Uh, the three Herlocks are remaining. Right. Two of them are one. near you, and one is attacking Bellica. Okay. I'm gonna take my now loaded crossbow. I'm gonna sort of peek out of the combat that I'm in and try to shoot it in the back of the head. Oh, heck yeah. Now we hope it actually works. Okay. Fingers crossed. Four Jade. That absolutely 15, that, hits. That's good. Excellent. 10 damage. Uh, it's dead. You murdered it. Um, alrighty. That's gonna go to Velika then. The herlock that was attacking you is dead, courtesy of Jade. Yeah. And also all of your frost that you did on it earlier. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so there's two left, right? Yep, the two that are over by the group. I am going to arcane lance at the remaining two. I think that's a single target attack? Oh, one of them then. All right. Attacking yeah, troll uh, or attacking yeah. draft? Uh, Doesn't matter, you don't hit. <laughs> exactly. Aww. Oh. I'm very sorry. Oh. Oh, well, <laughs> I tried. You did. And you I already did a lot of bird yeah. on a different one so i think at higher levels the arcane lance eventually gets to where it can like start hitting more than one person i think i think that might be where that came from that does sound right yeah. but it, it's like um, it's but we'll see level. as it goes mm. alan it is violence time again yeah um who's which ones are which ones are, are attacking who so there's one attacking you and one attacking draft 
I'm in between. Then I will probably take out the one attacking me because I've not been given any other commands. I think, I think the because uh, uh, of the promises he made to um, Velika, they probably have sunk in enough that she's like that next priority. Like if she's being attacked, it's the auto priority. I enjoy, um, like, as if this is, like, AI programming. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's actually exactly how I'm treating his his battle trance, is, is just like that. It's like the if this, then this. Yeah. Uh, by the way, series of... uh, get another five hit points. Woohoo! That is very needed. There's three more rounds of that. Okay, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to cast violence. Uh, a 16. Does a 16 violence hit? Uh, 16 violence does hit. Tell us about your violence. How much violence do you inflict? Okay, well, uh, numerically, 11 damage. Um, uh, Thematically, uh, I think he just, like, he he kills the ogre. The, the The thing hits him. He just turns, swings, like, swings his sword up cuts cuts the guy in cuts the guy in half and then turns to the next and then turns to the one well he's not dead yet okay well he's hit very hard then he is in fact hit very hard yeah. and he's looking pretty bad uh sorry whenever i'm, I'm uh, i assume descriptions that means that I've sorry sorry because i mean he's kind of horrifying our alan a little bit a little bit yeah uh messenger's gonna attempt to shoot at the herlock the remaining, the one that's attacking Giraffe. He hits, yay, Messenger. He does piddly damage again. <laughs> Messenger! Um, all right, Giraffe, go ahead. Uh, seeing as I am now the lowest health person uh, in the party at the moment, I'm gonna heal myself now. Um, Solid. So we're, we're going to do uh, three mana points of heal uh, on... Actually, you know what? That might be better resource economy on Rejuvenate. Um, all right, so let's go over here and do this. 19, more than enough. For the rejuvenate, and I was doing uh, uh, so that's five mana points. I'm gonna get back uh, so many five hit points right now, uh, and then I've got four rounds of getting more back two, three, four, five, uh, and then I'm gonna move over to uh, Velika. All right. It is going to be Dark Swan time. The one that is attacking uh, Alan is going to continue to attempt to do that. And hit. And do. 11 damage. And seven. Oof. Um, and then the final one is going to kind of chase after draft because that's who he's concentrating on <laughs> it's fine to attack me just saying i'm like right there you're hiding you keep hiding well he didn't you did shoot him with a, a cross no you shot a different one with a crossbow yeah but I, i'm i am standing right next to him so you are behind him though i guess that's true it's it's up to you i'm just saying uh well he hits draft because he's chasing after her Apologize for the blatant murder spree. That's fine. How how much damage? Fourteen. Ouch. Um. And as that's kind of as this is all happening, you all are suddenly aware of the pounding footsteps coming in from further down the deep roads, and seemingly out of nowhere, a man in full scale armor jumps and impales the dark spawn that just attacked (laughs) draft nice 
he turns around um, and finishes off the other one that is attacking Troll. And then as everything kind of settles down, he takes off his helmet and shakes his hair out and looks around, says, sorry, I'm late. And that's where we're going to end it. Amazing. Uh... It is, for the record, full scale warden armor. Oh, nice. Your friends are here. Yes. Um, yep. With the uh, rejuvenate, I assume that means we're out of combat. We're out of combat, yeah. All right, so the rest of it would be 14 hit points for Alan. All right. We're saved. I mean, you did most of it yourselves, but. Yeah. I, I am very impressed with how well we did, despite us being, you know, <laughs> kind of trash fiery. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was, I was a little, I was a little worried there when, because uh, when I didn't know that it was going to end, then so I'm like, oh crap, that's the exact sort of scenario where Alan's going to assume that that's just a new enemy. Oh yeah, <laughs> and so. Well, it came, he came in and immediately attacked the things you were attacking. I don't think that's one of those. I don't think that he'd differentiate that because enemies will yeah. attack enemies all the time. Well, well perhaps then Jade can tell him to stop. Yeah, that, that's sort of what I figured. It was what I figured would happen, but it would be it'd be a fun way to illustrate that point of Alan's yeah. Yeah. seriously messed up. We psychology. can totally at the beginning of next session have Alan immediately go to attack that man and resolve that. I'm yeah. down for that. So let's yeah. do that next Absolutely. Episode. Yes. Oh, that was... You do have another character ready, right? <laughs> yes. His, his name is Other Alan. <laughs> and he is We've Alan's long-lost brother. <laughs> Belen. Who uses a hammer and likes tiny meat pies. Alan, and that's wonderful. <laughs> Amazing. Belen. <laughs> oh, that was really, really fun. I had such a good time with that. Um, we're going to go on oh, a raid here. So Me too. We're going to go to raid here very shortly. Uh, before we do, though, I want to let everybody say what their favorite part was, where we can find them next and all that good stuff. Uh, so, uh, Hannah, let's start with you. What was your favorite part? Where can folks find you and anything you want to share or plug? In terms of where you can find me, come back here and we can resolve Alan attacking an ally. Um, it'll be great fun. Uh, <laughs> and nowhere else. I don't exist. Unless you play Final Fantasy, then I sometimes exist. Um, that's my favorite part. I enjoyed the pit stop discussion about the deep roads because I actually really enjoy thinking about the logical like decisions yeah. behind building something like that. Um, and I like draft casting arcane lens at the darkness <laughs> instinctually because <laughs> it makes perfect sense. That was really fun. I'm getting to say it. Uh, yeah, that's me. All I'm right. Hannah. Awesome. Uh, B, same questions. Um, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm B, you can... If I actually realize I have one of them Kofi things. Uh, it's J.R. Belliston after the Kofi thing. I don't know. They, they confused me. Uh, but we're also the, if you search for Neon Devils in um, in the Webtoon app or on their site, you should be able to find us pretty soon. But that's going up. Yeah. And we have our sort of preview. Page, that's going up real soon. Page two just got posted today. Ah, okay. I need to, I need to catch up on that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's going. Uh, as for uh, my favorite parts, one I, I did love the whole the whole conversation about the the outhouses in the because uh, <laughs> the idea of this like lava based outhouse where you just sort of <laughs> you're pooping off a cliff just made me so unreasonably happy. <laughs> um, I love. I, I love all of the all the the character interact. Like even though this one was a little more combat heavy, like the character interactions we have and the way they're kind of uh, building even in combat, I really I really love. Um, but 
my favorite part just has to be that bit with the ogre. Like when I kill the ogre, like does like knock knock him over and then just like turns to the next one. Like the fact that that one didn't like just pee itself and run away is sort of proof of how brave or stupid Darkspawn are. I don't think they think a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, generally, yeah. Like uh, Messenger had to make a will save not to pee himself. <laughs> <laughs> that, that 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 made that made me happy. That was just it was just so cool. Oh, but yeah, that's awesome. me. Awesome. Uh Anina, uh what was your favorite part where can folks find you anything you want to share plug? Oh, it was lovely to be back. Uh favorite part. I, I do love all our different personalities and our character interactions. And it was nice to see everyone in action in battle. So yeah, I think we work really well as a team even though we 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 had a lot to deal with there um you can find me here on fridays uh on this dragon age campaign or you can go to youtube and go to my youtube channel the awkward actress where i have um comedy sketches comedic monologues and a dark drama web series and if you want to see more role play go to bardic quest on youtube and there you can find a um, D&D campaign where I am I am a Viking fighter called Saga. So please do check those out. That is awesome. I, I realized I forgot something again uh, yeah. that I, I need to plug. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be here as new Skeeter. Oh, yeah. Doing stuff. <laughs> I think I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm like breaking out of prison or undoing the reverend's brainwashing or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's, but uh, yes, I'm playing a redneck computer virus. Noir is writing. Hey. 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 Thank you so much for that raid, Noir. Um, it's funny, we're actually getting ready to raid too and I was about to raid you, so. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you beat me well, to it. They won. Much so good appreciated. Good friends rate each other. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you works. so much. I really appreciate it. Welcome in uh, all, all 30 of you wonderful new people. Thank you so much for all the follows. Uh, we just had a a really fun game of Dragon Age. Uh, we fought Darkspawn and met a talking Darkspawn and killed an ogre and made a bunch of juvenile jokes. It was It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Like, um, about taint. I think yes. it was more, yeah. Well, I think it was more like a juvenile observations about the architecture of the deep roads. That too. Uh, we had a just very deep philosophical discussion on whether or oh, not yeah. there were uh, like roadside toilets or like rest yes. stops on mm -hmm. the deep roads, or if they were just you know like outhouse holes that you would you know like just poop directly into the lava. Yeah, that's that's in my head. That's what it is, and will always be that. Even I mean, shown information otherwise, that's just too funny to me. Otherwise, so you're gonna have to take care of. You have to take care of the. Indeed, yeah, indeed, exactly. it's just so hygienic. Just poop into the lava. <laughs> it's just hygienic. Exactly. Um, with that though, uh, Paladin, uh, what was your favorite part? Uh, where can folks find you? And anything you want to share? Plug. Uh, besides the fact that we got to play, which is always fun. Um. I think the fact that we managed to win against this many darkspawn, you know, because I remember when they showed up, I was like, should we d fight this? This sounds like a, you know, that we should be running, but we managed it anyway. That was really cool. Really shows that, that we're, we're cool. capable and more capable than I thought we were, because... <laughs> uh, if... Anyway, I'm looking forward to next week. Let's see. Uh, where can you find me next? Um, an hour from now, I'm gonna go on my buddy Stalwart's channel, which he has renamed to Vicarious Tabletop, where cool I have reskinned a uh, Kuatoa to play a, a scuba diver who is going to um, what's the city called in Bioshock? We're playing a, a sort of Bioshock D and D Rapture? game. Rapture. He's going to Rapture. So oh, I'm playing a scuba cool. diver. Yeah. It's in the, he's an arcane archer. So I'm going to have, that's going to be his harpoon gun. 
I haven't decided yet if he's going to be French or if he's just going to talk with the, the, the snorkel in his mouth the whole time. So is he going to... Oh, please, please, please do the snorkel. Snorkel. Please do the okay. snorkel. That makes snorkel me it so is. happy. Your wish is my command. So that's going to be awesome. Very much looking forward to playing with Salward again. Um... Let's see what's after that. Uh, Mondays, I have an alien game uh, where, I, where I play uh, Gerald, who's a, a very nervous bureaucrat type sort of person. He's more of a socialite, really. And uh, we we're here in the jungle. We were supposed to be looking for bugs, but the, the, the bugs found us and, and ate one of my, my teammates' arms off, which is rather scary. Thankfully, I was hiding in the car, so I'm perfectly fine. Uh, then Tuesdays, I am on Paula Scripted's channel where I play Dom Rain, the Githzerai noble fighter. We had to skip a week due to illness, which was unfortunate, but I am assuming we will resume shortly. Uh, Sundays, also, I play uh, Holy Pirate Pilot over on Uncanny Adventures, and I try and make friends with all the evil pirates. Hopefully, there will be a session because I missed a game. That's it. And then I'm back here. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, so that just leaves me. My favorite part. Oh, goodness. It's hard to choose a favorite one because the whole thing was great. Um, I loved our just garbage fire. Try to figure out what to do as we're trying to get away from the death mages. Um, and, and of course, getting to say, like, I cast magic missile at the darkness <laughs> and actually cast the Dragon Age equivalent of magic missile at the darkness. <laughs> was just fantastic <laughs> absolute highlight of any any time you get to do that uh yeah uh, alan's intimidating sneaking sneaking, sneaking. yeah <laughs> um and yeah, getting to fight dark spawn was really awesome i was not expecting that for this session um and you were expecting death mages yeah so that was just Super fantastic. I really, really uh, enjoyed that because it, it immediately took me back to my first time playing Origins and just the excitement of that and uh, fighting all those Darkspawn and everything. So it was really cool. And um, yeah, looking over like w with that new talent I have for the healing and the fact that you can do that in conjunction with your healing spells. As soon as I realized that, I was like, look at it, what Alan can do and what I can heal. Like, we'll be fine. I really wasn't too worried. Um, yeah, and uh, it was really nice to have that challenge, um, and nobody died. Uh, that you know was on our side, anyways. Um, so yeah, the whole thing was was a lot of fun. Um, too many favorite parts to to talk about, unless you want me to give an entire summary of the whole session here. <laughs> um, where you can find me next will be tomorrow at six p.m. Mountain Time. I'll be jamming Animus Violentus. Uh, it is a uh, spinoff show to Animus Absentus that's been running for a few seasons here. Um, uh, I'll be there uh, as well with, with B uh, and some other awesome people. Uh, it is a uh, sort of a cyberpunk, capitalistic dystopia sci-fi show. Uh, and our party is in the middle of a war between two big corporations. Uh, they've stolen a police cruiser, uh, repainted it in the style of an 80s uh, fantasy mural van um, complete with like a unicorn and wizard and lightning bolts on the side of it. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, and uh, they're about to get into a lot more trouble, so it's it's a good spot to, to hop in with this show and and not be too far behind on what's what's going on. Um, when we read that computer virus. Exactly. <laughs> I'm no skater. I was old skater. You know, he was my pa. Yeah, our our party is a cult leader, uh, an AI named New Skeeter, uh, in a little bug robot, uh, former police android, uh, and we have um, how to describe Par's character? An, an alcoholic? Yeah, that's part of it. Uh, for, yeah, former just... corporate bigwig that got like blacklisted, and and now he's he's just like the the alcoholic uh, sort of ship dad. It's like you kids yeah. do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another bottle of wine. Um, Here's 20 bucks bought by the liquor store. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then we've got a, a master hacker uh, 
in the part in the uh, party as well. So it's a cool show. I highly recommend coming and checking it, it out uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time tomorrow. Uh, and then next week we've got uh, the counterpart to this show, our other Dragon Age parallel campaign uh, at 6 p.m. Mountain Time on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday we'll have Black Feather Paranormal Investigations, which is like a tabletop version of Phasmophobia, and that's going to be on YouTube. That'll be our first YouTube stream uh, at, again at 6 p.m. And then Thursday is our Star Wars game, Elite by Beskar. It's a bunch of Mandos and some some Force users uh, right around like just after Return of the Jedi in the timeline, doing a bunch of really cool stuff. Uh, then Friday we'll be back here for this. So that's everything that's coming up. Other things to share or plug are our sponsors which are Fundamental RPG. It is a simple D20 system that's not tied to any genre, so you can use it to tell any type of story or play any style of game that you would like, from high fantasy to sci-fi and everything in between. Uh, it's what we use for Animus. Uh, and you can pick up the physical copies of that on Amazon, or if you prefer a digital version, you can pick that up at coffee.com slash raven, like it's spelled at the bottom of the screen. Also, go check out Die Hard Dice. They sell amazing polymer and metal die sets and accessories, and they're just super awesome people over there. You can check their stuff out at dieharddice.com. Use the code ANIMUS with a capital A. You can get 10% off of your entire order. And I highly recommend this set. It's the Luminous Chrome set. It's a little hard to see on my camera, but it's got these like glittery little nebulas in these clear dice, uh, and they were rolling quite well for... Uh, uh, my hit points and stuff earlier, so uh, highly recommend it. I, I can't say that you'll get the same rolls that I got, but they're very pretty. Uh, there's a direct link to those in chat. And uh, since Nor was so awesome and and gave us a raid, um, let me find uh, someone else to raid. Uh, oh, sweet, Valdrianth is on, so we're gonna go raid Valdrianth. Looks like they're doing some uh, masks. Awesome. So yeah, go give them a follow over there, uh, say hello, and then I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye.